Hi, my name is Brian, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove blemishes or pimples in Premiere Pro. One of the models has a blemish in this area, right on, near the jawline. In order to get rid of it, you can do this on the clip itself, or you can create a new adjustment layer like I did. Drag it above the clip. And you're going to go to your effect panel and look up Gaussian Blur. And using Gaussian Blur, you can make sure that affects the whole clip, the whole image, wherever your adjustment layer is above. And you don't want everything to be blurred. You can use the free Bezier tool to draw it. Or for me, it's usually easy to just use ellipticals and in this case make sure i turn it off so you can see it this is where the blemish is and you just want to make a small you can use the zoom in tool here to be able to see see it better You see where the mark is, you're just going to cover it up. All right, this is the feather tool as well. You want to feather it so it doesn't have too much of hard edges. Or you can go over here and use a feather tool that's here on the left side. But I find it's best to feather it a lot. So that way you just don't see a blob of <laughs> blurness. And this is, let's put it a fit. And right now you can't even see it. This is without, this is with the Gaussian blur. Now there's a little bit there, but honestly it's not, there's nothing in, that can't be fixed. You can add more blur. So that way, it make sure it's um, also covering it. Now, it's a video. So that means she's not going to stay at the same spot. And as you see, she's already, it's already gone. So, what you're going to do, at the beginning of the clip, you have where the blemish is. You're going to make sure the adjustment layer, or if you put it on the clip itself, you don't have to uh, move the adjustment layer or anything. You're going to use the mask tool and you're going to move. Oh, let's go closer. You're going to move this to follow her. So if this is right where she is, you're going to make sure you click on the clip. Hit the watch, it's gonna create a keyframe and you can track forward. And Premiere Pro will do its best and track it forward. For me, this usually works. Uh, I'm screen recording, it's gonna take a bit more time but you're going to watch make sure that it's working fine and where you find it missing the points you will stop it like so and then adjust it to where it needs to be so if it needs to then be enlarged at a certain point you're just going to go over back to that spot and move it and it will be creating a new keyframe for you. So Premiere has created all the extra keyframes and then you can go back to each one that you would like to make an adjustment and go from there. If you have someone that is not going to be moving a lot and say we did, this is a bigger spot like so
and she's not gonna move a lot, you can use the shortcut shift and right or left arrow, which will skip five frames. If you shift in to the right, it will skip five frames to the right. But make sure you're using, you're not on the masking path tool because then you're just moving the actual path of the mask. But using the left and right arrows, you will, and shift, will get you to skip ahead five frames. And using five frames in advance, you can then move the mask of where you want it to be and that also if you want to do it manually can help you get your results and that's about it let me know if there's a faster way or easier way of uh, hiding blemishes in the comment section below my name is Brian I hope this helps and I hope I see you guys soon stay safe